A lot of these patients have incidental findings and they go after, say they've had a car accident and they had an x-ray or an MRI and they find out that they have these thyroid nodules and oftentimes they come into our Save Your Thyroid Facebook community absolutely terrified because they think that this is something very concerning. So at that point, once they've gotten the diagnosis of I have something in my neck and then they end up in your office, What's the first part of the process for you as far as diagnosing them? So majority would come with some sort of imaging finding. However, the gold standard for diagnosing thyroid nodules is an ultrasound. So when it ended up going in for neck pain and then they incidentally found a nodule, it shouldn't be something they should really start worrying about until they end up coming to an endocrinologist and the endocrinologist looks at it. We know that majority of the nodules are benign. Um, and we don't want patients to worry. We don't want them to preliminarily worry, basically. Right. It's almost like now 85% of nodules are considered technically benign. Okay. Uh, but the vast majority are benign. Mm -hmm. And as long as we keep that statistic in mind, I think we relieve the anxiety of most patients.